Hi, it's Emily Leapart from Art from the Heart. Today I am going to show you how to make a frame around your cards with twine from the twinery. I'm going to be using the two colors cappuccino and honeydew, but first I'm going to show you how to create a template for the frame. So I'm going to use a clear ruler and pencil to quickly draw guidelines. You don't have to be perfect because you can erase any mistakes before going ahead with the stitching of the twine. So I'm using two images from Unity Stamp Company's new February 2011 Kit of the Month. Um, the sentiment says, lucky to know you. And I'm going to get my placement here first. Okay, so just like that. And then ink up the lanterns. Very quick masculine card, so it doesn't have to be really perfect. Okay, so we have the image and the sentiment in place now, and you can see the pencil lines. Um, I'll erase the bottom part when I'm done just to give it time to dry. So let's move this stuff out of the way. And the same machine right here. Alright. And I'm going to cut twenty-three inches of cappuccino twine. And same length of honeydew twine. Don't think you quite need 23 inches, but it's always nice to have a little bit of a spare so you can tie a bow or knots at the end for embellishment. So, um, what I'm going to do is get my card ready. I'm going to start by twisting the two colors together like this and the tighter the twisting the better that way the stitching will actually catch and hold it onto the card. So I'm going to start a little bit further back from the sentiment to give myself room to tie a bow or a knot and then I'm going to start stitching. And just remember to pull it tight and keep twisting as you go along. And once you get to the corner, just keep the needle down, lift the, the foot up and keep twisting to get the twine in place. Looks like it came up a little bit, so I'll go back and, and stitch it down just to make sure Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Go back. Keep twisting. Just make sure it's catching in that corner there. Don't really have 
have to worry about your stitching being straight. Gives it a kind of a rustic look, I guess. Make sure I turn this kitchen in the corner there. It'll take a couple of times for you to get the hang of it. This is maybe my third time attempting this. hand stitch it if you're unsure about going too fast. on the other side but no one's really looking there right okay so I am going to just tie simple knots to finish this Definitely dry, you can just erase the lines that are showing. Right. And then I always score my card or fold it when I'm done, just because when it's folded, it gets in the way of the stitching. And there we go. Thanks for watching.